everybody, Alan Ward here from strictlyguitar.com and in tonight's video I just want to show you how to use um, a program called Midiox with your Line 6 DT25 or DT50 amplifier. Um, there's been a few posts on some forums about this and I just thought I'd explain how I've done it um, with my limited knowledge of, of MIDI. So really simply with the latest um, 2.0 firmware change that's come out for the DT series amps um, what it does is each amp has a, a ch channel A and a channel B and within channel A it's got a thing called a, a, a um, topology and basically there's sort of four voicings that can sit within channel A and you can flick a switch to select which of those voicings you want to be using and same with channel B. Now the original amp came with just four standard voicings on channel A and B but the firmware, the 2.0 firmware, has upgraded that to 30 amp models that can be sort of inputted in there via MIDI. But you can only really sit four in there from each channel, so a total of eight at a time. The issue is, well, how do you tell your DT25 or DT50 which four amps you want in channel A and which four amps you want in channel B? I'm glad you asked, and I'll attempt to explain that to you now. So first of all, go to the Line 6 website. Um, there's this MIDI implementation chart. It's... it's um, out for the DT25 and I'm sure the DT50 as well has got something very similar. And basically the way you do this is by sending MIDI control change messages to your amp from your computer. Um, now ignore the first page of this for now um, and ignore the second page of it. I'm just going to scroll through and get to page 1.3. And this is the section we want to look at here. Um, there's two options. One is just the straight amp select and one is the amp select with defaults. Now look, I'm using it with defaults. With defaults means things like um, the right speaker box is matched to it, um, is it class A or class AB, all that stuff just gets preloaded in with that amp model. So that's my preference. Um, first thing to look at is over here, um, so the control change number you send is for channel A, you send a number 12, and then a value gets assigned to that control change, and the value 0 is, is no amp. A value um, 4 is the super O amp, a value 8 tells it to go to the blackface Lux normal amp, um, and so on and so on. So, um, And then same for channel B, um, you just use um, control change 89 and the same sort of values in there. So we go to MIDI aux, uh, which I've conveniently got open, and select this option here, send MIDI controller message, and it opens up this window down here. Um, now back to the line 6 chart we know that um, control change 10 is I'm oh, sorry 12 is the value we want to send sorry is the number we want to send and the value can be anything over here from 0 through to 30 so back to here I've got a set up controller event here um, it's a drop down box system a um, little bit weird at the start um, it's not numerical but then it does become numerical so look for number 12 there um, channel doesn't matter I've got it selected to auto send and value so um, I'll just go through this now. Um, so currently I've got it set on value 5, uh, which if we go back to the chart here, value 5 is the Gibson. Um, and now if I go, say, to value 6, you can hear it. And now it's changed to what will be the baseman model. And if I go to 7, it's an alternate baseman. If I go to 8, I'm not sure what that is. Um, 9, 10. So you can hear the different um, amp models. Now, the important thing, what I haven't explained, is that on my amp, I've got it set up at the moment to topology 1. So what I'm doing is telling it when channel A, topology 1 is selected, we're using, um, we'll, we'll call it amp model 10. And if I go back to the chart here, that's the um, divided by 9 over 15 model. Um, now, then if I want to, obviously there's, there's four topology settings in my amp. So what I would then need to do is go to my amp, um, flick the topology switch, say, to topology 2, and then do the same thing here. Um, go back, send it a value between um, 0 and 30 for whatever amp model I want to sit in topology 2. Um, then flick the switch down to topology 3 and load an amp into there, um, rinse and repeat for topology 4. So, And then what you would do is do the same thing. Um, it would be a different controller um, number. It would be number 89 to fill up channel B with all the various amp models. So you've done half of it now. What you've done by doing these steps is that you've set up your amp with essentially four different voicings or four different topologies for channel A and then for channel B. 
the next question people are asking is that's all well and good but how do I select those options say, as I'm playing or, or how do I you know send something through so I'll show you how to do that now for that we scroll back up to um, page 1.1 on this chart and the magic bit we want to look at down here is voicing select um, for channel A is a control change um, number 122 and over here for voicing um, 1 we send a value of 0 for voicing 2 we send a value of 1 and so on now if you want to use channel um, B same thing um, it's value 122 um, and the numbers are slightly different so um, yeah so for voicing number 1 it's 4 voicing 2 on channel B is 5 and so on so basically 122 is saying to the amp is a media message saying to the amp hey I want to change the, the, the voicing and a number from 1 to 7 is telling it what voicing um, to actually use so if you go back um, to then MIDI aux so it's a similar concept um, but the controller event we want to send now is number 122 uh, which is down here and the value, well value 10 is not going to do anything if I do value 1 um, then it's just changed um, the voicing and value 2 you can hear that change in my amp um, I can't remember what I've even got set up um, in these other ones so now I'm on value 5 and I can actually see on my amp um, the channel B light is lit up and number 2 um, is lit up on the topology section as well and that's 5, 6 I can see now it's number 3 on the topology and a number of 7 um, I don't remember what amp that is but that's channel B topology 4 so there you have it there's two sections to it um, if you're watching this on YouTube there'll be a link through to the blog where I explain it in a little bit more detail uh, and have some um, screenshots as well so I hope that helps somebody um, if it does look please leave a comment um, I'm still working out how to use the DT25 myself with MIDI so as I work other things out I'll be posting other clips so subscribe to the channel and um, leave some feedback let me know what you think thank you for watching